Alright, so a big question a lot of people ask is, how do you level up really fast in Gotham City Imposter? So what we're going to do for this video is we're going to just break down a really easy build uh, that you can level up really fast in. So talking about the loadout really quick, I start off with the Desperado for more closer and mid-range engagements. Uh, in this particular build, I had the extended magazine, which I do not recommend just because that extended magazine really kills your reload time and in close engagements that you're going to be in with the Desperado, it's a bad, bad choice. So I really recommend the red dice on. Um, you're going to kind of see in this video, I do have some problems uh, kind of getting those shots just because the accuracy and the reloading time is just uh, not, not really with me. But uh, generally in a match <clears throat> with the targeting goggles, which is a gadget that you choose, uh, I would uh, I usually open up a match with it just, just to kind of get the whole team on the same page as to where the other enemy team is so they can move around. Uh, the big purpose of the, gar the targeting goggles is for one, you get shared experience. So if a teammate... Uh, kills a target that you targeted with the targeting goggles You're gonna get the same amount of experience as you would if you killed them. So that's gonna be Number one on why this build gives you a shit ton of experience But uh, the other thing is of course, it's just it's just uh, Cordial, you know, it's just a good idea for the entire team to know exactly where the enemy team is And it just gives you an advantage on potentially winning the entire match So generally speaking a good team is always gonna have at least one person pretty consistently using those targeting goggles. Uh, now what you might see during this play is, uh, even though I'm kind of getting my ass handed to me a little bit there, oh I did manage to get one, uh, two kills before I done, but uh, I'm constantly juggling between actually having my firearms out and having my targeting goggles out. And you're actually going to see here in a minute, I'm actually going to get uh, some sneaky little kills here. So <laughs> you can definitely set yourself up in little spots where you just kind of hide out, wait around a little bit, and jump on out. But uh, that is that is uh, one way to do it. Now I use the Desperado as my kind of my primary, and then I have the Huntsman as my secondary for kind of longer range engagements. But another alternative thing you could do is you could actually have the Motivator as your secondary or your primary weapon, which, whatever you choose, and uh, you could use that to kind of again boost your team, get more health for everybody, and of course you're getting benefit from using that, uh, that using, using the motivator is going to get you additional experience, which is great. But you kind of sacrifice that ability to take out those long-range engagements, which is uh, it's kind of a gamble. kind of depends on the map you're playing on and how you like to navigate around. But, yeah. <laughs> and as, of course, you can see, as, as long as I'm juggling between those targeting goggles and my firearms, I really, you know, the enemy team has a problem getting the drop on me which allows me to run around and kick a lot of ass. Unfortunately, uh, the enemy team is pretty fairly balanced as opposed to mine when it comes to skill, and you're kind of seeing that on the scoreboard right now that we're, we're kind of going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, trading kills. Holy shit, my cell phone. I'm sorry about that. I'll never forget you. But, uh, yeah, that, uh, that you guy has just completely stomped me th this, uh, this particular game. And he was pretty much the only one I was really having a lot of problems with. But, uh, of course, you guys can watch that. You understand that one. You're seeing it before your eyes while you're watching this video. But in any case, um, what else can I tell you guys about how to experience, how to uh, get more experience? So we're talking about the, you got the targeting goggles. Um, for my support item, I have the body armor so I can last in engagements longer. But you could do, alternatively, you could drop a trap box or you could drop uh, bear traps. And, of course, if those get triggered and the character dies from either of those, you're going to get experience. So that's another alternative method on how to get some experience. And that would actually be experience that you really, really wouldn't have to work for because you could just drop that trap box wherever you really felt like. Or wherever, you know, if you were charging, you were running away from an engagement that you just couldn't take on your own because you're facing the entire enemy team, you might want to run away, drop a trap box, and just keep running. That's an idea. So, you could do that. Of course, you could do, uh, you could actually get, I don't know, gliders or roller skates. You can move around easier. But we're talking mostly about just getting the experience. So that's what I recommend for this particular build. And I don't know what that guy was trying to accomplish. But, uh, that's really about it, guys. Um, as far as, uh, let's see here. Lose my train of thought here, but uh, as far as uh, additional means of gaining more experience, I would say uh, Rampages, I would say get Wolf Pack, uh, because of course you're going to benefit the entire enemy team, and you're probably going to you know, see a little bit of an experience bo bonus from using that Rampage. Um, your Psych Profile, that's going to kind of depend on 
your role in the team and how you like to play. If you find that uh, you're just almost always on the top three, you can kind of plan it around that. Or if you feel like you're more of a support character, you can pick the psych profile according to that. Um, it's funny because psych profiles, it's kind of, it's pretty much just a gamble on your experience. You could get more, or you could actually hurt yourself. So more often times than not, I just set it to the default klepto and just not get any of those additional benefits. But I may experiment with that a little bit and see what really works the best. Um, but yeah, guys, that's that's really about it for this video. I hope you uh, got some information out of it. And uh, of course, if you like the video, if you like my style, uh, just leave a like, leave a comment. Um, if you want me to do another video, whether it be another game or another build, uh, I will, of course, do that upon request. So you guys just let me know, and uh, we'll carry on from there. Take care, guys. We're just going to let the, let the match roll to the end of the match. But I uh, hope you enjoyed. Take it easy. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that it's also playing on a Fumigation map would also be a really, really good idea because after you take every point, you get the additional uh, 500 experience. So I really recommend, if you want to level fast too, you should try the other game modes. Uh, because Deathmatch, while it is fast and you get a lot of experience, Fumigation, you actually get more experience. So I'd actually try using this build on a Fumigation map. So, there you go. Blood runs like my tears. 